Uh, the shooter in Saturday's attempted assassination on Donald Trump purchased 50 rounds of ammunition at a local gun store just hours before carrying out this attack, according to a senior law enforcement official. Remember, uh, Crooks was on the roof of a manufacturing plant about 130 yards away from Trump's rally when he squeezed out eight rounds. Secret Service snipers responded quickly, returning fire and killing the 20-year-old instantly. So more details emerging after the probe, of course, continues. Uh, Surinder Singh Lali, international affairs expert, come in here. Surinder Lali, we're learning that uh, uh, the shooter purchased 50 rounds of ammunition at a local gun store hours before the rally of Donald Trump in Pennsylvania. Thank you there. Once again, it's a pleasure and honor for me to be here for such a distinguished panel. And I'm going to take the last point first, which you just meant. In a country where you can buy guns from a hypermarket and bullets from a vending machine, what do you expect? But having said that today, I think now the failure of the law agencies is kind of shift, getting shifted to uh, the change in narrative. I mean, this 20-year-old, not, not even too known to his neighbors, has kind of ended up changing the political narrative because uh, Donald Trump himself is on record saying that he's thrown out the old speech and I wonder what the new one would be. Uh, you know, the latest video is even more embarrassing that there, there are people on a cell phone telling the enforcement agencies that, look, there's somebody on the terrace and the guy crawls back and then any call crawls in the front and he shoots. I mean, this is a video just came out 30 minutes ago. But I'm really looking forward to the convention because I think it starts in about four hours and I'm really keen to see what the new speech would be. Because according to me, I think after the September 11 event, this probably would be one of the most charged emotional speeches. And I feel bad for the back-end offices for both the Democrat and the, and the Republicans because the entire graphics in the original narrative has been thrown out the window. So now this gentleman, Matthew Crooks, has changed the narrative for, uh, as, as General Couture said, that it ought to be now being not a Democrat or a Republican because uh, the whole thing is becoming one big boss episode in front of the world, the American president's election. You know, Ambassador Basmati said it's an iconic picture. I absolutely have to agree because uh, I feel that, you know, the, the, the fist that he punched up in the, in, in the sky I think that is going to give him a lot of political dividend. You know, in the U.S., they call it the quarterback moment. So I think that itself is going to help him a lot. But once again, I still feel the jury's out on this one. And now point two, I mean, being in and out of the U.S., lived there and worked there, I'm going to share some of my personal experiences within two minutes, you know, by the watch. I think NRA needs to be controlled because the National Rifle Association in the U.S. is another Frankenstein's monster they've created. I mean, if the American population is 33 crores, there are maybe one and a half times more guns in that country. And as I said, you can buy a gun from a hypermarket. And now I'm going to slightly stick my neck beyond in, you know, my brief and make something more personal is, according to me, you know, the American family values, there is, it's all a fast food culture where nobody has time and has this, excuse my French, money talks and bullshit box. So when the family system has fallen apart so bad and there could be so many impressionable, vulnerable minds who have nobody to talk to, who have nobody to, no, no shoulder to cry on. And, you know, once they start nourishing these sorts of narratives, and the irony is that Matthew was a registered Republican, uh, uh, you know, voter. But uh, I don't know if it's a lone wolf, Donald Kutoch, or if there is an agency behind it, the jury is out. I mean, people still don't believe that if Lee Harvey Oswald really killed John F. Kennedy or there's somebody else behind him, you know, in that library. But I feel that NRA needs to be roped in because, as they say, you if you live by the gun, you buy that, die by the gun too. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.